So what did you see God do this week at South Padre? It's, it's hard to sort of pinpoint exactly what I want to say because it's not necessarily one thing that God did. It's more like what didn't God do on this trip? He met people where they were and didn't ask for people to come seek him. He was already there. I was always really scared to do it, and I thought that I probably wouldn't be able to relate to the Spring Breakers that well, but actually, like, it was pretty easy. And the more the week went on, the more God gave me boldness and gave me things to connect on with them, which was super cool. I want to see God's glory. I want to see a miracle. I want to see something miraculous, big happen. And even more so, like, this is this was God's plan. Like, you know, and I had no choice. I actually really didn't have a choice. Like, I had to go on Beach Ridge because God like or, ordained me to go. And he, had, he ordained everybody on that trip to go and to be there. It was his providence that brought us there. There are about 800 um, students who go down there to participate in Beach Reach, and those students are there to serve other college students in a very practical way. They help clean up beaches, they help with traffic. A lot of it is helping people stay safe on the island, um, and also engaging with them in conversations about just things that are going on, things that they're concerned about. So, you know, we drive around and we see students walking, we'll give them a ride. Well, that, that keeps them safe. Uh, we pick them up, take them to wherever they want to go. Uh, that keeps the roadway safe. There's less DUIs going on. And so we assist the city and work with the city in a very positive way. And at the same time, able to share the gospel uh, with, with these students as well. And that's what we do here. We give free pancakes every morning from 8 until noon. And uh, the BSM students will get in the line and strike up conversations, sit down and eat with the spring break students and share the gospel. And through the years, I've seen many students pray to receive Christ at these tables. So it's an inspiring, uh, productive, and incredible ministry. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Vibe check. How's it going? How's it going? Vibe check in the van. Vibe check in the Beach Reach van. Welcome to the first leg of the road trip. Yep, we have left Letourneau and we are on our way to South Padre to take care of the spring breakers, give them rides, van rides, keep them safe, talk to them about Jesus, yeah. all that good stuff. We are painting the vans before our van rides. Jesse, what, what van ride are you working on right here? We're working on a vibe check van. Now this is van tireman. What van is this? Deja van. Deja van. The one and only Betty White van. Part of what is sort of like out of the frying pan into the fire about Beach Reach is like you're just thrown into it. It rocks you off of your like, it puts you off center, it puts you on your heels. You really have to like renegotiate how you operate and how you like navigate through the world mm -hmm. and how you navigate relationships with people. It was enough that they really liked us and I think they could tell that something about us was like different and so they were like, hey, we would rather hang out with you than go to this bar. I want to share God's love with them and I want them to know who he is and how he loves them. Our whole team, especially when I see them after Beach Reach, it's just like, oh, family, you know, it's like we went through such a difficult time, but also such a time of growth together. The connections that we've built have been very impactful. I'm never going to forget the people. Just seeing the growth that occurred through the hard experiences was really, really awesome to see. All I can say is, like, God, I love you. God, thank you. Like, you're such a good father and a good provider in the simple act of just letting me come on Beach Reach again and making it be as amazing as it was.